Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to talk about my two prepping goals I have for 2015 and some gadgets and gear that I've got over the past few months. Stick around. Hey YouTube, how you doing? Hope everybody's well. I've had uh, two prepping goals for 2015 and one of them is to start canning and get into canning and learn all about canning something I haven't dabbled into but really need to as a prepper uh, also my wife is planning on putting in a garden uh, this spring uh, on our property and she's very experienced in gardening gardening uh, and I'm not so I'll probably be doing some videos on that when we get started in the spring and I will learn a lot from YouTube during that process. But anyway, gardening is her goal. Um, but since she's going to put a garden in, I think having a canner uh, is going to be essential. So this is some of the gear and gadgets that I've received either as gifts or bought over the last few months for prepping. And uh, the other goal that I have uh, that there isn't anything on this table reflecting that uh, is to get my ham radio technician license I believe not uh, educated at all into ham radio but I definitely want to get involved in that community any uh, hints or tips or guidance that you guys have for ham radio um, all ears I know there's a 35 question test from the little bit of research that I've done to get your technician license. That's really the only license I'm curious uh, and really have a need, I think, for having. Um, and I think it's going to be essential uh, to have communications and ham radio. So I'm looking to get into that as well. And that's going to be hopefully by the middle or the end of the year. Uh, that I actually either get my license and uh, acquire some radios and things of that nature. So that's it. Um, so what you see in front of you here um, are things that I've either got for Christmas or birthday or whatever. Um, actually, these wireless systems here uh, from Bunker Hill. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, so this here... I already have one of these in my driveway. Uh, my driveway is about 100 foot long and I have it set on a tree out there. And actually I'm going to do a full review on this, but you see that this uh, sensor here is white and the receiver is white. The receiver goes in the house, that's fine. Um, I've actually painted mine camo. I will insert a picture now of what that looks like. So you can see that that blends in with the tree a little bit better. It's not as noticeable of having this big white sensor out there. But one thing I've noticed on these, and these are available from Harbor Freight if I didn't say that already. There are two different types. You see that both of these say channel 2 on them. I don't know yet because I haven't set them up. It's been so cold outside. I don't know if I set this up and have the receiver outside and I have one out front, one out back, or both out front, that the, the receiver will ring for both of these. I don't know that. If anybody knows that yet, I haven't messed with them. And also, when you're at Harbor Freight, I bought three of these. These were a Black Friday deal. They were 10 bucks a piece. I don't know. They're usually a little bit more expensive than that. This model here takes three AA batteries and three C batteries for the receiver. Okay. This one here which is on a different channel because it's marked channel 2 this one here does it say on this box? yeah 9 volt battery okay I don't know if you guys can see that the 9 volt battery and 3C batteries in the receiver so this one takes a 9 volt battery instead of uh, double A's I am using the double A model outside I've been using it for quite a few months now I'm very very happy with it they work very well uh, I have a windy day today, sometimes the tree limbs will blow and it will go off and get a false signal. But when I've had UPS or FedEx pull in my driveway, 
uh, or someone coming to visit, I kind of know that they're coming and it's a good good deal. Also, something I got recently and I haven't, I j actually just got this last week, is the Kershaw Cryo. And I wish I would have gotten the Cryo 2 now. And um, the, the Cryo 2 I didn't see available with the G10 handle on it. Uh, and maybe it's out there and I didn't just look hard enough and that's fine. But uh, really like this. I just uh, fl flipped the pocket clip so I can have tip up carry. It came tip down and just added a little doohickey here so I can grab it out of my pocket easily. I like doing this with most of my knives. Uh, overall, I like it. Um, I like flipper knives. I haven't had a decent flipper knife and this is kind of uh, a budget type flipper. So I'm um, getting to use this. I've been carrying the Tenacious and the Dragonfly 2 uh, previous to this and I love the Dragonfly 2. I love Spyderco knives. Don't have a lot of Kershaw products so I thought I would try this out and I've been carrying it and I like it so far. Also Spyderco Sharp Maker. Uh, I don't know. Um, Superfly Fat Guy 859. Um, really kind of sold me on this uh, sharpener and uh, I saw a lot of videos on it I've used it I've sharpened the kitchen knives uh, most of my pocket knives with it and I think I'm getting a little better with it it's going to take a little bit more practice for me to get proficient with this but it's great to uh, get some edges back on your knives and uh, it's got the stones and stuff inside there's plenty of videos on this I'm not going to do a, a uh, extended review or anything on this plenty of videos on YouTube about that one other item I got, uh, my wife got this for me for Christmas actually, and this is uh, available at uh, BJ's. Um, I don't know where BJ's wholesale clubs, I don't know if they're all over the country, but here in Maryland they're pretty prevalent. And these are tumbleweeds, and these are fire starters. Um, there's 32 of them in here, um, and they're basically just little straw, they look like little tumbleweeds. Um, and I've used these, I've probably used about six of them so far, had some fires inside and outside in the fire pit, and they work great. Um, I think it says, there's a lot of Spanish on here too, um, yeah, burn time, eight to ten minutes for burn time, and uh, I think that's pretty accurate. I was going to do a video on these, but I guess really no one wants to watch something burn for eight or ten minutes to see if it works or not. I know it works. Um, so I don't know that I'll do a video on them, but I think this was like less than 10 bucks for 32 fire starters. Um, I think that's what she told me. I think this is a great little thing. I use them, I've, like I said, I've used them a lot so far. So six or seven fires I've already had, and I've used these to start the fires, and they've been, they've been great. So I really, really like this product. Um, maybe even nice to uh, cut one of these up a little bit or have one in a bug out bag or uh, something like that. So they work really well. Um, And you can see they're just it's kind of uh, like look like a tumbleweed uh, that's about it I hope that camera's focusing on that guys so they do they burn really well and they're all like just little you know straw and there's something in the middle here that I don't know if it's a, oh, a paraffin wax uh, that, that makes it uh, burn longer but there's some kind of a some kind of a wax or something in there. So these work really well. Something else from Harbor Freight that I picked up on Black Friday. These solar lights. Uh, I'm trying to light up my property. There's really some dark spots out front and back that I don't like. And uh, I have another light system that's on battery. Uh, it's called Mr. Beams and I'm going to do a review on that for sure. I love them. They're like 140 lumens. But these at Harbor Freight, I forget what I paid for this. It might have been 20 bucks. There's a 36 LED solar um, solar light, and then there's a 60 LED, which is a lot larger than this one, obviously. Um, but I want to try this one first to see how bright it is. I've seen some videos on YouTube, and reviews are pretty well on these things with the solar panel and... Um, uh, the actual light itself so when I get this mounted I may do a review on it um, but having solar lighting I think is really 
really great because you always have it and uh, these are pretty cheap and pretty bright so if it can help in one part of the property that's great okay so this is something I just received very 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 uh, like yesterday <laughs> for a birthday gift and uh, this pressure cooker uh, I am looking so forward to learning how to use the pressure canner and cooker I don't know if anybody has this model the all-american uh, where's the model number Ooh. model number 921 is on the side of the box this thing is heavy duty um, really heavy duty so uh, like I said I'm just getting into canning um, the only issue I have right now is I have a microwave over top of my stove which is very outdated my kitchen's very outdated uh, we bought this house uh, I don't know six or eight months ago and we have a lot of construction and uh, a lot of things to do we just don't have the money to do it right now so I'm probably going to be taking this old microwave because we don't use it over top of my stove and remove that so the pressure canner fits on the stove uh, but it's very heavy duty made in America this was one of the highest reviewed on Amazon I think it almost had I don't know, 1500 2000 reviews and it was like four or five stars and the one thing that I did learn from watching YouTube God I love YouTube uh, is that you want the metal to metal seal you don't want the rubber gasket because that gasket always fails or will fail over time so again getting into canning one of my definite goals for 2015 canning meat and veggies and whatever and then for Christmas I also got a new food saver and I went with the game saver G250 and used this a lot since I've uh, since I've gotten it from for Christmas love it uh, it's been a great sealer so far I have not had a lot of luck with food saver uh, I hear people that have had the same machine for years I went through two of them and um, they were like I forget the model numbers on them it started with a V um, but I, I just have not had luck with them so I've actually registered on this one for the warranty and somewhere on here it says there's a 10-year warranty on the box somewhere yeah 10-year warranty so that's what sold me on this one so I just wanted to share a few of the products that I've had uh, been acquiring and kind of have a lot more on my wish list but anybody that's into canning I know that there's been a lot of debate lately about the lids and stuff like that so I really need to get to learning this uh, process it's going to be a learning process for sure I'm sure I'm going to have some issues now I need to go out and get some more mason jars and um, looking forward to getting into canning and learning a lot about ham radio so those are my goals for 2015 and I just want to share a few items that I've acquired here and um, a lot more to come um, but that is about it right now guys so as always uh, if you're not into preparedness you're preparing to fail how about a thumbs up appreciate your time thanks mm -hmm.